Hello everybody, I am Nikki Rose, and welcome to week six. Yeah, week six, because last video was week five. And I also want to say this, because I, I don't know if everyone's noticed, but these videos are pre-recorded weeks in advance, so if I'm saying something on the videos, it doesn't make sense, or it's like weeks past, that's why. But, yeah, six weeks out, starting hormones, moving forward, if you follow my Reddit post, I actually did just get rid of most, you know, just about all the male clothes I had besides the ones I wear to work, because work is complicated. But, yeah. I did have an idea for this video of talking about, just like, clothing and that kind of stuff, but that can wait, because there's another thing that came up that I wanted to talk about, and it... It's annoying, but something that probably everyone has to deal with. What I'm talking about is online dating and dating sites. Anyone out there, which I'm pretty sure you have, tried any of them, they're all pretty much shit. The reason that is, is because people are shit online. And fake as hell. And, yeah, it's just... I've had so many th times, because I've been on multiple dating sites, trying dating sites, trying to talk to people, meet people, or not even just to date them, just to meet a person outside my home, and it's still not working. I mean, I'm not sure why, I try my best, I mean, I am, I am, I know I'm not the most confident person and not the best looking, but, you know, no one's perfect, you want a supermodel, you're in the wrong place, but, yeah. And then just every time I start talking to somebody or, you know, moving towards trying to get to know somebody, they either disappear or leaving the state or either that or they're not even in the same state, which is annoying. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to them. It's interesting, blah, blah, blah. But lately I've been noticing that I just miss, like, human interaction, like actually talking with someone for you know, that wants to talk to me for a reason. Not because I'm at work and they want to ask a question or blah, blah, blah. Or they're one of those crazy people that like to, when they walk by pre people, they just start talking out of nowhere or just ask them a random question. I mean, actually, someone wants to come to talk to me or someone wants to talk to me about something or something like that. And I've not had any luck whatsoever. I mean, even I've actually had worse luck because... I've been scammed a couple times, well, once, and every other time it's people that are trying to talk to me, or fakes, or not the real person, and the scamming part we'll get to a little bit later, but yeah, all dating sites are crap, I've been on just about every single one that, you know, is relatively free, I mean, I haven't paid for a dating app, well, there was a dating website that I paid for, and I was trying to keep up with people, but Again, it was just all people are faking it or they were out of different states and weren't, you know, willing to, you know, talk with me and move towards me or do anything like that. It was just all just lies and fakes and bullshit. And it was just annoying how many times that's happened or trying to get, you know, things to work and then it just turns out to be crap. At some point, I was, I mean, mostly I'm really just about to the point where I'm saying screw dating and just do what I can to move on with my life. But it's, you know, everyone needs companionship. It's a hard thing to do without, you know, another person around to help you talk to. Because with me, I don't know if everyone, everyone else, but being alone around you, like myself, all the time is bad because I get too much in here. And then I start, you know, falling back into my thinking of when I was younger and what things have happened and dealing with stuff. And then. It's a really dark thing about, like, I get doubts in my mind that I'm really trans or like, all stuff like that. And then it turns almost to suicidal thoughts and that kind of stuff. But it's just hard to deal with. And some people may say, we well, can see a shrink or a therapist and blah, blah, blah. I've tried that. I really have. And it's still not not something, you know, I can deal with. And every, uh, every time I'm starting to talk with a therapist or working with a shrink getting with them talking, getting, you know, getting through it, and then gone. They will either change their jobs or something like that, and then they, like, they'll change their job, move to a different place, or retire, and then I'm out. And then I have to basically start fresh 
from another with another person, which I mean, I know with every person you talk to, you got to basically start fresh and start, you know, getting to know them. But with therapists, it's different because basically they're there to learn what the hell is wrong with you and know everything that your like deepest, darkest shit happens. And they're supposed to know that and work with you on that. And restarting like every three or four months trying to do that is you just get sick of it. And also, it's not cheap. I mean, even though I have insurance, I still get bills for it. And, you know, they also want a copay out front, even though I don't have a copay on, you know, my insurance. So it's it's weird. But, I mean, I still see a med doctor because if I don't, I will literally go insane. There's been times that, I know this is getting off topic, but there's times that I've, I've been off my meds for too long. And I almost had basically a PTSD episode where I almost snapped and probably would have killed two people but that's my problem but dating apps and dating sites I mean some people may be able to get you know use them and get through it but you gotta sift through a lot of bullshit it's just fake people scammers people that are just trying to get your info and all that kind of stuff and you're just sick of it or people that say they want to meet you talk to you all the time and then disappear or stop talking to you because I don't know, they were just bored and decided to talk to someone online or make up a, a fake account or anything like that. And it's just really annoying when that happens. Oh, one thing. It may look different in my room because I changed my lighting. I changed from the, you know, soft light, light bulbs to daylight. So it may look better, look brighter. That may be why. I just happen to remember that. Because it also looks better on the capture here. But, yeah. But, yeah dating sites and dating apps it's really all the waste of time and money and it just is annoying to deal with trying you know like you see on commercial like that like eHarmony and match like find the right person for you and blah 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 really it's all just a piece of shit that's what it is because I mean you go through it I mean those sites they're ones you have to pay for and I mean I thought about you know um, signing it with Match, not because it's like has better results and blah blah blah. The only reason is because they had the thing set up where they had meetups, basically where just like there'd be a group of people you'd be meeting up with, like a speed dating thing, but not exactly. But basically, it was an event you would go to and you could meet new people if you want to date them. Then you could do that. But the issue is, is um, with all my issues, I'm a shy person. I'm, you know, I really have no social skills whatsoever, and it's just awkward for me to go outside and try to do stuff, especially now, because it's even worse now, because before I wanted to and tried to do more things. Now, with being transgender and, you know, working on stuff, trying to basically learn everything about being a female makes it even worse, because if I want to go out to a bar or a club or something, that something I had to show my ID, it won't match my face. Because my ID is old and it looks completely different. I'm pretty sure I had a beard back then. And, you know, going out and doing stuff like that almost is impossible. And you, people may say, like, oh, why are you worried about that? It's, you know, new, it's New Year's thing. People don't really care. Yeah, they will. People, especially, I mean, maybe I it might not be. But with me, having any kind of issue or conflict is just something I don't want and I hate to deal with because I'm a person that wants to you know get in get out and do the things you want to do instead of like people that just peruse around like if you, if I go to like a, a store for something like I go to the store for something I go in for that one thing I go in I grab it I'm out not well let's look around and see what else because then you start to work with impulse things and you start buying stuff you don't need and yeah it's a whole pain and yes, people probably wouldn't say anything, people wouldn't question it because everything's changing now, but it's just annoying to, you know, just you would see that person look at, like, your ID, look at you, and do, like, either a double take or their eye would go away going, something's not right, and then say something, and then make a whole big scene, or you gotta, you know, slip the guy some money so he keeps his mouth shut. It's just things I don't want to deal with because I'd rather not deal with hassles and that kind of crap. It's also, I mean, I still have no idea how to do makeup. I mean, I'm been trying but I I don't know it's you get 
you know, discouraged when you're trying to do something new and it always comes out wrong to you. When you see it wrong, it's like, you've tried it and it doesn't work and it, you know, you see failure and then you just give up and just say, screw it. I mean, I, I really haven't gone out in public with makeup on lately. Yes, I have bad wiring because I'm running way too many things at once. But, I mean, dealing with that also is just a pain and then trying to meet someone, you know, with crap makeup on is even worse. It's also the only real time I go out of my house is with my family, which is not, e that's a lot worse because, you know, my family is a bigger kind of family. Well, not bigger, just, you know, larger as a person. And it's just hard to try to talk to people or meet people when you have, you know, two 50-year-old people following you around. It's basically impossible to do. And trying to basically, I mean, again, I have social anxiety and I'm an antisocial person, so going out is basically impossible. And I don't know, it's just weird. It, you wouldn't understand unless you have the same disorder as I do. Because beyond that, you're basically walk, looking through a window and you have no idea what it means. <coughs> it's like if you would see you would be walking by a store and then you see like things flying around or people running around. You wouldn't know what the hell is going on. You just think something, someone's crazy or something's going on there, but you have no idea. Basically, that's the same thing happens when other people talk about mental disorders that you don't have because you have no idea what's going on. So you just see it from the outside, but you don't have the full, like, you don't have the full brain work. You don't have the full story of what's been going on nose is running like crazy but yeah and going back to what I said getting scammed yeah it was a pain in the ass it I mean I didn't lose any money the only thing I've lost was banking accounts there was one per guy I met well didn't meet started talking to online you know it, it sounded like a good thing and I mean it was like the first real time I was talking to somebody online and he was a person saying, they said he was a sugar daddy looking for someone to take care of and pay for stuff and all that kind of junk. And I was trying to find someone like that because in this time, you know, when you're going through transitioning and you, you know, you look up at like how much it costs to get anything done or everything done and just trying to afford it that, I mean, you start looking for someone that's willing to help you or pay for it. And this person seemed like it was right and they were willing to do that. Talking with him a lot seemed good. I mean, it worked out somewhat, and then it just all went downhill. Because figuring out he was a person trying to launder money into the U.S. from a different country. And, of course, people are going to say, then why did you, how did you know this? Why did you give him your bank information without actually meeting him and blah, blah, blah. When you're desperate and, you know, basically you've been having fucking thinking, well, this is like last year. And it was a very vulnerable time, you know, starting out. And I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was right around the time I came out to my mother about being transgender. And she was fine with it, but it's she's still not okay. She's fine with it, but she's not, like, really supporting of it. So that's an issue. So it was just a pain to try to deal with that. And then, you know, this guy, I gave him my account information. That was stupid, I know. It was the dumbest thing is I gave him my login so he could log in and deposit money, but he was trying. He kept trying to put like large amounts in and it wouldn't go through, and then it caused my account to close. Which I mean, it did cause issues because then my account closed down and I had, was having my paycheck funneled into that account from my job, so I couldn't get my paycheck, and it just caused issues. I dealt with it. <clears throat> I mean, I had to. I had a title loan at that time that I paid up a bit so I could actually, you know, take the interest I was paying up on that, refinance it, and I got the money just to afford the monthly stuff. So nothing really went bad, it's just I lost the account. And I had that account since, like, 2011, right when I came, when I got out of high school, probably even before that. And yeah, it sucked to lose that account because I had it for so long. But the bank was being a pain in the ass anyway, it doesn't matter. 
But yeah, it was a pain to lose the account, and then he kept trying. And I mean, I tried to. I he said it was the bank doing it and that kind of stuff. So I gave him another chance. It was stupid, I know. Again, made a new account, just kept talking to him, tried it again, did the same thing. Try to put a bunch of money in. Try to get me to use that money for something for him, and it wouldn't go through. It closed my account, and then he never would talk to me again. So I know. I was stupid twice. I mean, I should have figured it out the first time when he first... Because the reason I kind of went with it is the first time like he deposited money, it was only like 200 and it went through and everything was fine. I mean, it was also an issue. I probably should have seen this in the first place. But then he wanted me to take that money he gave me and go buy iTunes gift cards like for the whole amount to then give him the number so he could use it for a business thing. I know, it all sounds stu stupid and sketchy, and I should have learned it from it. I mean, from the beginning where he said that, I should have cut it off. But, again, desperate, looking for, you know, some kind of accomplishment or someone to actually care for you because, I mean, really, I have no support system. I mean, I have people to talk to, but really, you know, it helps to talk to someone face-to-face -face or talking with someone and understanding what's going on. But if they're, you know, not around or not close by or really not caring, it's hard to deal with. I mean, I do have a friend at my job, if she's still there, that I came out to and talked to her. And it seemed like things were going okay, but it's it's never seemed like it was all right. I mean, she seemed fine with it. I mean, we keep talking. We talk at work. But it's you can tell. some. I mean, some people out there may be able to notice this or not. But you can tell when people are... are you know, afraid, or they have like awkward feelings about you because it's just there's something in the air you can tell that something's not right. And these people either don't like you, are afraid of you, or something like that. You can tell what's going on and why you know these people are acting this way. And it's just that's what it's like around her. Things just don't seem right. And you know, people are always dis. You know, she's always distant. And I've tried to you know talk with her, try to set up you know we could hang out and stuff like that. But then. She never gets back to me. It's, I mean, it's tough, but, I mean, what can you do? People have their own ideas, and you just got to keep moving on. But, yeah, that's how things have gone, and that's why if you ever use a dating site or a dating app, people ask for your money or, or personal information. Never give it out to them. I know I should have learned my lesson the first time or even before it, but, I mean, I didn't lose really anything besides a stupid, you know, account number on a bank that really didn't care as long as they were getting money funneled in and they were getting, basically, you know, they were, had, like, collateral kind of crap. Basically, the, as long as you have money in your banking account, the bank has your money. So, they get, the more money you put in your account, the more, basically, it makes them able to continue their stuff. That's why places charge and whatnot. But yeah, that's how I've dealt with it. I mean, I've talked to multiple people lately and try to get them to, you know, hang out, talk to them, and just continue. But after the day or so, no more, you know, nothing went else. And it's like, okay, that was fun talking to you, but now you just give up and say nothing. It's fun. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's happened to me just recently, so that's why I, I kind of got on the just rant here. I was going to, like I said, do a video about talking about how clothes fit and whatnot, but after stuff like not going, turning out well and not happening, I just, I mean, might as well just talk about it now. But that's all I have for today. I mean, I have nothing else. I, mean, it's, I know it's also another day behind. I mean, the videos would come out still on the same day on Monday. But for me, I just, I'm behind again because this, this is another Tuesday. And you can tell I'm dressed in my work stuff. But the reason I say that, it's not because you guys probably know or care. Really, it's just so when I'm editing these things, I know that, you know, I'm still behind trying to tell myself to get, you know, get moving and get things working better. Because also now I am... I'm out of videos that I need that you know I had videos recorded and edited and uploaded but now I'm out of videos so I need to go make more videos before the next week or I'm going to be you know basically not having content on my channel 
the more time you have content on your channel, the better you are to try to get ad revenue and make it a full job. So yeah, hopefully next week things go w right. I mean, I want to do a video where I do makeup and I look better, but Mondays and Sundays aren't really the best days, so things never turn out right, and it, things never fall into place that work together. So, what can you do? But before I end the video and cut off the recording and slowly hate myself, I want to thank everyone for watching. I want to remind everyone to, you know, share the video as much as you can. The more you share, the more it helps me, helps everyone out there, because the whole reason I'm doing this is trying to help people understand and get, you know, basically not fear the trans community anymore, because we're all still people, it's just things have changed in their life that they are going through that you don't understand, and if you hate people about that, and you don't understand it, that's just hurting the other person. But also, I have other videos that are, you know, gameplay videos, these are only like the real live, straight live videos I'm going to be doing where it's like, you know, really me on camera doing something. I mean, I want to do face cam with my videos, but... Until I can, you know, thin down a bit, because I know I'm an o I'm overweight, and you know, get better equipment. Because this camera's okay, but it's not the best. It's slow. It doesn't have, you know, it doesn't keep up, and I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as focus on this. But yeah, more is t more to come. And if you have anything to say, you know, talk to me, say, remind me of something stupid I've did done or something like that. Leave in the comments. I'll read as much as I can and reply to ones I can. But yeah, beyond that, stay out out there, people that are trans. Stay strong, and you're never gonna be alone as long as you're trying to keep up with the community. <laughs>